Hey, Facebook Live, it's your girl, Dr. V. Great Monday morning. You guys, I'm so excited to see you all. Hold on, let me share. Let me share to the groups. Super, super excited to be with you guys. Yes. God is doing some amazing things and I'm super excited to be a part of what he's doing. And I want you guys to take full advantage of what God is doing in the earth right now. And he's giving you an opportunity to be a part of. So here we go. What's up, Richard? I haven't seen you in a while. Hey, Eileen. Great morning. Great morning. Great morning. Listen, you guys. So I'm super excited on this Monday morning. God is doing amazing things. And listen, this is the beauty. This is the beauty. We get to be a part of it. You know, I've learned in life that whether you are someone who goes to church all the time or you're just someone who has a relationship with the creator, that relationship is important. It's imperative for you because what it does is when the world looks crazy and it seems as though everything is going haywire, God puts you in a place where you are literally in position uh, for what he's doing. So today I want to talk to you about peace. I talked about it in Ford Focus 21. It's the word that we're focusing on today. It's our P for today. Um, day seven of our Ford Focus 21, uh, 21 days to set focus and propel you into destiny. But listen, I'm talking to you about peace because peace is something that we need to learn how to not only have, but to walk in and hold on to. Hold on to your peace in the midst of chaos, in the midst of troubles, in the midst of trials, in the midst of everything that's going on in your life. Hold on to your peace. The peace, your peace is the one thing that the world cannot give you and it can't take it away. So if your peace is gone, the world didn't take it. People didn't take it. You gave it away. The only way your peace is disturbed is if you, talking to you, choose to allow it to be. You got to get your peace on, you know, um, there was a lot of talk, uh, on social media about, um, Omarion, Omarion, when everything was going on with April Jones and Fizz, you know, Omarion came across as very unbothered. Okay. Now, I'm not saying that he was totally unbothered, but he came across as very unbothered. You know what he did? He held on to his peace. Now, holding on to your peace, because I need you to understand this, because a lot of times we think that when we hold on to our peace, that it makes us a wimp. It does not make you a wimp because you choose to hold on to your peace. You don't have to get worked up about stuff. I'm going to give you a prime example. On Sunday, um, and, and this is an example of not maintaining your peace and then taking your peace back. So I was trying to get out the door, get the boys out the door to get to church so that I could be on time. I knew it was going to take me 45 minutes to get there. You know, it was going to be a drive and I needed to be gone by a certain time in order for that to happen. They want to take their time. They want to move slow. Okay. Now I could have left them, but you know what? They wanted me to leave them. So I couldn't leave them because then that would have, they would have benefited. They would like profited from that. No, we're not doing that. So I remember I was sitting in the car and I was so like, if this boy don't come on, I'm blowing the horn. You know, I'm getting out of the car. When I get out of the car, my, my son finally comes out the door. So I'm driving down the road and I'm hot, hot, steaming, mad because I'm going to be late because y'all want to play games, right? So I had my headphones in and I was listening to my gospel music and I said, God, I got to get my peace back. And the Lord spoke to me. He said, this is what you do. Since they make you late then make them go to both services. I said, oh God, that's good. Because guess what? They don't want to be in service from 9.45 till 2, 2.30. They don't want that in their life. They don't want that. See, I'd already told them, listen, if you go to the early service, when you all get done, you can drop me off at church, take the car, and you can go home. So literally, they're done um, by 12 o'clock. They're good, right? They got the rest of their day. So I said, wow, God, that's good. That's motivation right there. That's the motivation. So I didn't say anything to them, but I found my peace again. And so then when I was at church, my son said, so mom, are we going home after this? Are we going to be able to go home after this? I said, "Mm, 
You would have if you hadn't made me late. But since you made me late, you all need to do two services. You get to do two services. He was like, what? Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing. So he was texting somebody. I don't care nothing about all that. Now, I gave them a reprieve on Sunday. But I promise you next Sunday, they'll be thinking about whether or not they're going to be late. You see, in that situation, I could have allowed them and their games to have me all discombobulated and mess up my day and my worship and my service, right? Or I could listen to the wisdom of God. You know, God will tell you how to get your peace back. God will show to you what to do to have your peace, to hold on to it, to keep it and to keep moving. But you've got to be willing to listen because sometimes it's going to be a little challenging what he tells you to do to maintain your peace. Omarion, he maintained his peace. He didn't have nothing to say about April and Fizz. He wasn't getting riled up about it. No matter what people asked him, he's like, I'm good. But guess what? When it came time for the tour, Omarion said, listen, I'm going to get this bag by myself. You see, you can have peace when you already know that you don't have to put yourself in a situation to have to deal with people and situations. Whatever you're going through on today, whatever approaches you, whatever concerns you, whatever you're dealing with, keep your peace. Don't give it away. Do not give it away because that's the only way it can leave. I know we say, oh, they messed up my peace. No, no, you messed up your peace in your response to them. So maintain your peace and know this, know that God will give you strategy. He will give you wisdom on how to maintain your peace. I'm at a point, and, and, and I know my older kids always tell me, they say, you use the bust us in the chest. This, this last group of kids, you don't do them like that. And I don't, because you know what? I'm older. I don't have the energy to be busting these boys in the chest. I ain't got time for that. Listen, life is too short. So now I just have to figure out, mm, what do I do that really is going to impact them, motivate them, and keep them moving? Everything doesn't have to be a punch in the chest, and it doesn't have to be yelling. In fact, my kids get nervous when I don't yell because they're like, okay, she ain't yelling. What's wrong? Today, don't give your peace to anyone, not anyone and not any situation. No that God has got you and you deserve to hold on to your peace. Keep it. Keep your peace. Do what you need to do. And even if people think that you keeping your peace, you know, um, means that, you know, you are, you know, um, angry or bit. I'm not bitter. I'm just telling you what it is. So it can appear like you're bitter. No, I'm just stating facts. State facts. Remain unbothered. Do what you need to do to maintain your peace because you don't have to give it away. You only give it away if you choose to and then you can't be mad at nobody but you. Keep your peace today. Listen, you guys, I absolutely love you guys. You guys are amazing and I need you to know it. And in case no one's told you yet today that they love you, I love you. In case no one told you today that you're amazing, you're amazing. In case nobody told you today that you, yes, you are a rock star, you're a rock star. So when you know who you are and you know what you're rocking with, then you don't have to allow anything or anyone to make you feel like less than. Hold on to who you are. Keep your peace and keep moving. I love you guys to life and life more abundant. Be blessed. Mwah.